Okay, this is a 3D remake of Riven, which is produced in 1997. I'm not going to get into a ton of backstory because you probably already know, but um, this version of Riven has actually been in development since uh, technically 2009 because um, the Star Expanse project was working on it. Um, it's just a group of fans, and then eventually, more recently, Cyan adopted the project and production um, happened very quickly. And of course I'm going to play it. Thank God you've returned. I need your help. There's a great deal of history that you should know, but I'm afraid there's no time to explain. Most of what you'll need to know is in here. For reasons you will discover, I can't send you to Riven with a way out. But, I can give you this. It appears to be a linking book back here to Dunny, but it's actually a one-person prison. It's the only way to capture Gen. Here. Once you freed Catherine, I'll come with a linking book. She'll know how to signal me. There's a very good chance, if all this goes well, that you'll be returned to the place that you came from. let me walk away oh so he just went to mist I wasn't paying attention to what book that was let's see here so the uh, I wonder I probably should check the recording just to see what quality um, I'm getting because I don't want the frame rate to be really bad or whatever Let me do that real quick. Okay, so after looking at that recording, it seems well enough. Um, it's actually pretty similar to what it looks like on my screen. Um, so I think the book that he used was in fact a Mist book, and I think it was taking him directly to the Mist library. Um, I think part of the purpose of that may actually be to show us as the player. Um, let's, well, Maybe not, because I think the assumption is that you've at least played Mist before, um, so you do understand how linking books work. Um, we have kind of a grainy image of Riven. I think I actually like that intro a little bit better than the old one. Um, I mean, it's not really fair to make a comparison, but... I started to watch the demo stream from the developers, and I realized that the game has actually changed quite a bit. 
um, some things are different and I realized I wanted to stop watching it because things are different enough that uh, I didn't really want to have that stuff spoiled for myself. So I've played Riven before um, a few times. And I remember some things, but... Right. Credits. Yeah, so I'm not dissatisfied with the way things look. Um the world itself is actually pretty good. I could pr try messing with the graphics. I don't know that I should really change it from what was chosen for me by default. I actually like that they have kept the old style mouse cursor, finger pointer. Um, Cho's model is not bad actually. Um, sure the animation's not great and the lip syncing was kind of bad but um, I don't really mind that. It's gave me an achievement for looking down there. Um, I would maybe, you know, what's interesting is that I'm probably more likely to look down here in the 3D version of the game. Um, in the original version, uh, this, this scene right here was a little bit harder to find, but Of course this won't work because it's been jammed by a thing that apparently I'm not allowed to take out.
I don't know what this is. This is new. It did not exist in the original version. It's actually really nice being able to walk freely around here. Um, yeah, walk, being able to walk behind here, that's so satisfying, actually. Because the original version of the game was just point and click, and you just had set frames that you could look at. You know, you click to look right, and then you look here. You click to move forward, and then you're here. Click to move forward again, you're here, that kind of thing. So, um, it's actually just really nice to be able to, like, navigate freely. That was interesting. So I see, like, looked like I saw stars in there until, oh, okay, now I see stuff. That's interesting. I don't know if that's a bug. It's just like a little inconsistent. I don't know. This handle was not there before either. It looks like it's broken. Where is that supposed to look like that? Uh, no, it looks broken. I'm surprised by the look of the brake that it's still hanging on. Well, this is... If I could read Dunny, I would know what this says. I'm not gonna... I'm sure other people could take the time to learn what that says. But I'm not sure I'm gonna go into that much depth. What's this? Oh, hold on. Uh, so I'm allowing hot air to release through there. Oh. Okay, so I'm apparently able to look down into the fissure from here. an interesting um, workmanship because like they built it directly into the rock or something I'm not really sure looks like a lot of time has passed though since this was installed to cover up the big chasm that yeah. I don't know, um, I should, I think I should assume, you know what I think I should assume is that anyone who watches this at least has seen the mist, but maybe doesn't, hasn't seen Riven necessarily. So I think maybe the way that I'll talk about this is if things are new, you know, for the most part. I mean, well, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna pretend that I haven't seen things before, and I'm not gonna fake solve things or whatever. It's just that um, I'm not going to spoil things in advance. Is all. So I'm not supposed to know that that's a fissure, but whatever. Yeah, it puts up a wall there, obviously. I mean, it'd be interesting if it didn't, but like, kind of logistically a pain if, I don't know. This is cool.
Why does this feel so realistic? The materials, not too bad. It's, I think, I think this is a fixed, um, I think it might be a fixed texture. I guess we'll practice that. Like, I think the reflection might be a, a single texture that's just, I'm not actually sure, but. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is, because if it was, like, actually rendered in real time, it would be, um, you know what, okay, I am kind of curious about the graphics settings. Um, let me check real quick that I'm, okay, I wanted to make sure I was recording. Let's, uh, so we have... Motion blur. I think I'll keep motion blur off. I really think I should just keep pretty much all of this to the defaults, honestly. I don't want to... Maybe I just don't want to take the time to mess around with this. I mean... Then again, I don't... Quality. I'll leave that alone. So I don't think there's any ray tracing... Which my computer doesn't do that well anyway with ray tracing, so. Yeah, I don't think it's that kind of game. Um, you know what? I think I kind of do want the subtitles. We, we didn't get the subtitles for Cho, but he was speaking a different language anyway. color context. Oh, that's cool. Interesting. That's an interesting way to, like, a really practical way to solve the color blind problem instead of trying to worry about making all these other cues or whatever. Just, just give subtitles for the color. <laughs> yeah. Um... Oh. Ah. And I get different skin tones. I kind of... See, this is... My, my skin is... Pretty white. Not that white. I think I might... Do I want this one or do I want this one? Yeah. Yeah, we'll see how it ha handles that um, having boosted some of those settings. Hopefully it doesn't slow down too much. I don't know if I can say that I really noticed the difference in shadows. I do think... Those trees look a little better than they did before. Oh, cool. That's nice. We used to not be able to look back through these. It makes sense that you would be able to. I can just like... Oh, they do close. I thought it'd be interesting if I could just leave them open, but... Yeah. Actually, I don't know if I'm reading these in the correct order. I think clockwise is right.
See, I think this is the first. This was supposed to be the first image. Maybe. This. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this would be the second image then. Then this comes later. I think I should mute the achievement noises. I don't know. It's probably not a big deal. Yeah, so... So there's the fence. Over here. Now, in the original game, the way that you got past this gate was literally just by crawling under it. But I do not think that is the case with this one. Oh, also a simple solution. Just remove the hinge. That's actually a lot cooler. Does have this uh, dagger? Oh, <laughs> you can see the. Uh, wait, that doesn't even make sense. Whatever. We hide what we can, <laughs> even if the uh, obstruction is not completely calculated right. surface. It's gold in, but I don't know what it's actually made of. I don't think it's gold. Because it, it it has... Um, it could be gold. If it is gold, then gold is a lot more abundant in, uh, in ribbon, because there's a lot of... Anyway. I mean, maybe it isn't abundant. Maybe they just went through a lot of work of mining it and stuff, but I mean, it's not like we couldn't do that same thing on Earth. And obviously this is like a temple, so, well, maybe not exactly a temple, but it's, it's a lot of scratches. So actually this this does look like gold to me. So and the surface here doesn't look so different. So I think it looks like a pretty thick layer of gold. Like it's not just a thin plating, like... Yeah. Alright. Um, 
So you have this, which you can't. Oh, ooh, we're getting a little bit of lag there. It's not too bad, but... Now, I do know how to actually solve this puzzle, so... I should probably just do that. Um, or at least basically. I mean, it should be fairly obvious, because you just have to rotate it so that you can get a new path um, from the other entrance. Um, not sure, but I think that that is what we want. Actually, I might have to rotate. Yeah, this is good. It may actually make sense to uh, read through the journal that we have soon. Actually, I might not. For one thing, this has been changed a bit. It's not like it used to be, so. Oh my gosh, I could like step in there and get. Well, I wouldn't get trapped. It would just take me to wherever that goes. But I might get trapped. Um, and then let's press this one more time. Hopefully it's not too loud. Uh, where I live here, um, the water pipes in the building are really loud, but um, I imagine it's not quite as bad on the mic. It's probably filtering out a lot of that, so I'm not going to worry about it. Everyone always complains about the background noise on their in their videos, and then it's like, I don't even hear anything where it's just like really not that bad and yeah I do know the recording uh, I think maybe I think maybe I should reduce like I don't know what effects are, but I don't know. I, f I feel like Cyan already did their work of being able to estimate what the settings should be. Because this, it just automatically gave me a custom preset, which I think is really interesting. It wasn't like it just automatically said, oh yeah, mid-tier PC, you should be on high or whatever. It was like... Yeah, like this is decently smooth for me. I know it's a little bit choppy still. But... Oh, I do... I do miss the better shadows. So the like I can see the difference when I boost up the shadows. But the shadows are probably what's hurting the performance the most, really. I mean it's such a subtle difference though, I mean. Yeah. 
I don't care. Let's just stick with... All right, I'm not going to mess with it anymore. I'm going to leave it alone. This is just fine. Okay. So I think this was coming up, this steam was coming up from the ground, and it's being directed in the direction of that arrow. advantage of being 3D. You can much more easily know what's going on, understand what things are doing, etc. I think this is taking like exactly the same amount of time to rotate as it did in the old version of the game. I think because they reused... I wonder if Cyan has like a lot of the old sound files. Because it sounds very similar. And I, th I think um, if they do just have them on file, like they may have... I don't know. It might be the exact same sound file like they didn't... Uh, like may be the same level of compression as was in the original game. I don't know. levers. I could actually hear in my headset where that sound was coming from. Yeah. Would that be all of them? It doesn't look like we have any more gates up in our face. Right. Uh, I think this is a little different. Oh gosh, I can walk around on this. I can even walk between here, which is... I did not expect to be able to do that. That's so cool. I get a little dizzy looking at that. Yeah, these, um... Those, uh, divides in the water, which will probably make more sense later, um, they are... they were not in the original game. so different. What? Oh my gosh.
Is that like a charge? Oh, this is kind of sick. So these are the other domes. Looks like some of them have... Whoa. I'm getting some... The sound track is feeling a little bit more like Mist 5 or Abduction. this light orb. This looks like the lantern of a lighthouse. Oh, that's a little weird. What did I hear? Huh. I'm hearing different sounds. Hold on, if I, um... Oh! Yeah, okay. Right, um, okay. Position and rotation. I think we're a bit upside down now. <laughs> But, that's cool. So wait, I can like fast travel to all these other domes? Is that the idea? Dude, there, this is new canon. Seriously. I mean, I know Riven and Mist aren't exactly canon. Um, to like a Rue. But... This is... I mean, it, it, it kind of makes sense. I feel like we're getting a better understanding of how the fissure actually works. Wait, what's wild is... We're, like, rotating... The, um... <laughs> to be rotating the stars. That's... Interesting. Tracked this. I don't think I would want to. What did this do? Hmm. Wait a minute. Oh, is this where I came from?
actually, I don't even know. Trust that that's a sturdy pillar. It just it does seem a bit. Yeah, I mean, it's metal on the sides at least. So. Um. See, we've opened up a lot more, so we should be able to, like the other way or whatever. Sorry. I just kind of want... Actually, maybe... Something that'll blend in with the environment a little more, so it's sort of like a medium tone. Yeah, I like it better. I was talking about gold. This is definitely looks just like painted and it doesn't look it's like it's like a golden paint. It's not gold. It's like uh, whatever. How many achievements do there have to be? Oh, see, that's the same symbol that we got when we opened the dome. So you'll notice one of these... Maybe not. So yeah, that, uh... I guess that's how I'm supposed to know what the correct... So, I mean, you just spam the button and then eventually it opens. <laughs> but... Oh. What? We immediately have access to this, but it's... I mean... We, oh. Oh! I see how they've changed it. That totally makes sense. Okay, wait, so... I wonder... Those, like, balls, the white marbles... I wonder if they... I'm not really sure how that works, but, you know, you probably, like, need all five of them, and then, and then this thing opens up. It powers the book. Which, again, I, I, like, spoilers for those who haven't played the game, but, yeah, anyway. That's a... 
I like that we can still make something out, it's just not very clear. first, and then we can go down. So we might have to remember these symbols eventually, <laughs> but uh, yeah, see I'm getting, I'm dropping frames even with the settings I have right now, so I think it's fine. some weird stuff there, but that's just a lot of games, modern games anyway. Huh, I like how it lines up with that. That is the lake island or whatever, boiler island. I don't know. This is way out in the distance, so I wonder if that's pointing to Prison Island. Alright, let's go down. Yeah, this is... so, in the original version of the game, um, you couldn't access this entire room. You had to, like, enter from different sides and open things up, but no, it's just just open right from the beginning so you can get everywhere. It also seems like we're not going to be able to get everywhere just through this room, so that's something different. This is different for one thing, this did not used to exist. Or maybe I just don't recognize it because it's changed too much. Oh! Oh, this makes so much sense. This makes, makes way more sense than the old version. See, I, I know what this is, and um, yeah, that makes so much more sense. Um, yeah. Yeah, it makes sense for this to be kind of hidden away. Whereas before it was like... Kind of easy to find. Okay. So it used to be there was only two viewing holes. It seems we can watch the temple from like both sides and we see the place from there as well. The little button here. No, I want it open. I like that it... Okay, I love that we can actually stop it midway like a garage door. Instead of having to like wait for sprites, you know. Okay. I don't think there would be any benefit to us of having a bridge up in the air that goes nowhere. So we'll keep that down. Unless I am totally mistaken. So I think this is like holographic imaging. Um, like projecting, like the, you know, it's like scanning me. Yeah, 
this is a little bit... The chair has always been a little funny. I definitely noticed before that it just... It's just like this disc. Well, even more so now, like, it just looks like a... Like, it's barely attached, you know? Which is a little bit... I don't know. It's, I think they wanted to keep a lot of it the same, but... Anyway. Also, I think they didn't want to throw away a lot of assets that Starry Expanse had already created. Out of respect and also just out of, like, why would we do things twice? Um, oh, hold on. We didn't go this way. You know, what's interesting is Starry Expanse was what made the decision to... What, what I mean is the Starry Expanse project, the people working on it, they made the decision to build uh, Real Riven, as they were calling it, in... Um, in... Uh, uh, Unreal Engine. And so that's what they started doing. Which is... Interesting because Cyan also started making their games in in uh, Unreal, so I wonder if that was what what things influenced that. I mean, Unreal is just a good engine, anyways, right? So, but I wonder if the fact that the Starry Expanse was building in Unreal had anything to do with the decision for Cyan to build their games in Unreal. I don't know. So unfortunately I already saw this because I absolute disaster. Yeah. It's so different from the original version. This was there were no collapsing bridges. Um, but yeah, I already knew that was going to happen because I saw some of the demo and then I was like, oh, I really, that was when I realized that things are very different and I didn't want things to be spoiled. So that was spoiled for me, but anyway, that's crazy though. Um, yeah, It's so good because, yeah, it's it's so good because if you've played this game before, there's actually more to be experienced still. When I say played this game before, I, I do just mean Riven, of course, not, not this version of Riven. So yeah, normally this would be our route to all the other islands and stuff, but yeah, they, I guess that's why it's easy to get to everywhere in this um, in this pool dome, because there are another reason why our path is blocked. Okay, we have not gone this way yet, so I mean, obviously, probably wondering when I was going to come down here, but I like the marbling or first I thought I was like looking at like lichens or you know moss or whatever on the wall but I mean this is another planet so who knows what materials and possibly like uh, eukaryotes I'm looking at but actually yeah yeah mold is eukaryotic Okay, so you can open it and close it from both sides. Which, I, it makes sense, actually. That does make sense, because people need to be able to get to the gate room. Yeah. The fruit 
does look more real and also more alien than it did before. It looks very dry, at least on the outside. Those green citruses, though, they... I imagine they'd basically be like oranges on the inside. Can I steal some of this blink? It's a really big necklace, but I could still wear it even if it goes down to my hip. Oh, the angle of this is a little different. Uh, No doubt about it, there is electricity running through here. Oh. Is that like jet powered? Holy cow, it's fast. Was it always supposed to be jet powered like that? I never even realized. I just thought that it was, you know, like a maglev thing. Or. I guess it's a combination of the two. Okay, what's this up here? Why can't I get to it? What is this? Oh, that's the camera. Yeah. Okay. Have a seat. Oh, the door is closing. Oh, and now it's opening because I'm not sitting down. <laughs> that's kind of interesting. Let me do it until the door is closed. It's interesting that it still makes me wait for things. I saw the disjointed railing back there. Which... I don't know, could actually be intentional, but I don't think it totally is. I don't know. fake. Of course, the original game. <laughs> oh, now, um... 
See, you know what I'm looking at, looking for, if you've seen Riven. I want, I'm looking to see that, um... Yeah, see, that's, this is so different. Because we don't have the uh, ball thingies. And this, the shadow is no longer, it no longer resembles an animal. Maybe if you have, use your imagination, but that just doesn't seem to be part of this game anymore. Something else is. You know what? I think they've been replaced with sound-based things. Whoa, this is so... Okay, that's... What? I was actually hoping to be able to dump this whole trough. I don't know why I would want to, but I did. This water's not exactly realistic, but whatever. So this is a tram chap. Say that four times fast. Um, does this affect the flow of water at all? Or anything like that? What does this thing do? This uh, thing wasn't wet enough. I think it's like for rinsing out, um, you know, like whatever minerals are being collected in the pan. is exactly like it used to be except now it's like you know in real time so I wonder like the speed at which I approach them It's actually nice to be able to see stuff in the distance. Oh. These moths? Did they, is this, was this like a salt or sugar that they're attracted to? being brushed, right? 
onto something, maybe? Because there's a ladder. Oh, I didn't even see this. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's cool. The mods are all coded in this stuff. Well, so it's... That's cool. Oh. Wait, so... I mean... Yeah, it's just to... So we have... I'm not sure what that is. Can I just keep this with me? Okay. Did it go back? No? I just have it now. I guess. Tab. So now I can look at my inventory. Cool. Yeah, we should actually... We should actually take the time to read this because it is important. Should I read out loud? Maybe. If this was missed 4, I could have it read to me. Um... All right, so 87, June 10th, I believe. And this will be, I think it was 1887. I think that's correct um, for the timeline. Um, they held for more than 30 years, but the corrections I made to Riven have finally failed. The island has resumed to the familiar pattern of decay that is the hallmark of my father's work. I think that the waves are a little loud and annoying, so let's try to go somewhere a little bit more quiet. Um, it's pretty, that's not nearly as bad as w before, okay. All right, um, I must now race to implement this new patch before it's too late. I only hope that my revised theories are sound. Revisions to Riven completed. There are still a number of minor adjustments that need to be made, but the basic corrections are in and should be working. Something's not right. I've been monitoring the instruments for several hours now, but have thus far observed no change. It's possible I made an error though I've checked my entry against my prenotation and can find no discrepancy. I haven't slept in nearly three days, so it may be that I'm just not sleeping it, seeing it. Uh, if the fault is with my foundational assumptions, however, perhaps after a short rest I'll see something. Uh, this is then, what, three more days? Success? It appears that my repairs have been effective after all. The gateway image has become noticeably clearer, and although it's impossible to know this with absolute certainty, the island seems to have quieted itself. Just a few more weeks of work, and I should be free at last to go there myself and attempt to bring Catherine back. The past eight months have left me little time to devise a strategy for getting her out of there. There's been no sign from her in all that time, and I only hope that... Uh, no, I must assume she's all right, lest my fears undermine my efforts. I got a little emotional there, didn't you? Um, I did not create the Age of Riven. Unlike my father, I have never presumed to have such power. And yet the future of all those who live there has fallen into my hands. So far, I have managed to read the page before it turns. Uh... Wait, what are you saying? So far I've managed to read the page before it turns. The island continues to appear stable. 
and I would like to believe that I have saved a dying world, but my th the theories of one individual cannot support the lives of real people indefinitely. I must get everyone off Raven as soon as possible. Now, the problem now is Gan. I'll never be able to rescue Catherine and relocate the Islanders if he is still the man he used to be. I haven't seen him in over 30 years, but given his history, I must assume that he's still a threat. His myopic mission to restore the Dunny civilization has left too many innocent cultures dying in its wake, a pattern that would no doubt continue if he were to ever escape the confines of Riven. For more than three decades now, the universe has been safe from his corruptive influence because no one has been able to leave that ill-fated age. The last linking book out of Riven having been lost in the Starfisher upon my return to Mist. That was our intention, to maroon my father on Riven by removing all the existing links to other worlds. And since the libraries containing the vast and intricate knowledge needed to construct linking books remained largely confined to the ruins of Dunny, he would be trapped there for the remainder of his lifetime and effectively segregated from the countless other worlds that he would have invaded. This is what we achieved, but the way it fell was no one's ideal, and although the sting of it has gradually faded over the years, the deep pain of the responsibility for what actually came to pass has never left me. At the time, it all seemed so clear. Gan's destructive path could not be allowed to continue, but it was never my wish that the innocent inhabitants of Riven, who had already suffered so much, would be the ones to have to pay for it. But enough. To dwell in the past is to die in the present. And the situation is not the same as it was then. The knowledge I've acquired since that time has yet to be factored into the equation. I think I have a solution for rescuing Catherine. Why it did not come to me sooner, I do not know, unless the thought had been pushed out with the memory of my sons. A prison book. Many years ago, during the hunt expedition through the ruins of Dunny, I chanced upon a formula for a most unusual type of book, which is not canon. <laughs> Unfortunately, as my father was then in the habitat of confiscating my discoveries, I had yet to leave it behind. Uh, years later, however, as part of my efforts to protect the vulnerable worlds linked to the books... I, okay, I'm sorry. If you want to think prison books are canon, they can be. Um, everything's canon to itself, so... Yeah. Um, anyway. Sorry. Years later, however, as part of my efforts to protect the vulnerable worlds linked to the books in my library, I was pleased to find I could still recall most of the formula, and with little experimentation, I quickly succeeded in creating one of these devices myself. The procedure is actually quite simple, by altering key lines of text, but slightly, a normal linking book's connection can be partially severed, such that anyone who attempts to use the book will be permanently trapped in the dark void of the link, unless someone else then uses the book, at which point that person becomes trapped and the first person displaced back into the world. The technique can be applied to books that have already been written, changes to the text being so slight that anyone who is unfamiliar with the code will be unable to detect them. If my father is indeed unchanged, what better bait could there be than a book that appeared to be a link back here to Dunny? Trouble. My nightly analysis of the island's condition has revealed that the tremors have started again. The pattern, however, is new. The disturbances are the result of the changes I have made. This did not at first concern me. Tremors of this type were one of the possible side effects I'd anticipated during the initial phase of the island's readjustment. But in order to verify my assumptions, I recalculated incorporating the new data. The results were not what I had expected. The damage to the un structure is more extensive than I realized. I can no longer go to Riven as planned. Catherine, forgive me. I must act while I have the time. The signs are as yet barely visible, but there is no question that the island's deterioration is accelerating. 
Total collapse is imminent unless I can keep ahead of it, and that is becoming increasingly difficult to do. With every passing moment, I gain a clearer picture of the incredible chaos that my father's shortcuts have yielded, but it's a dismaying process. The complexity of the problem is overwhelming. There is no good end to this. The last few days have convinced me that the collapse of Riven is inevitable and that at best I can only strive to delay it in the hope that at some point the island will become stable enough to risk a rescue attempt. I think I've come up with a way to subdue this tremors. It will require my exclusive attention for at least a month or two, so it may be necessary to discontinue these journal entries for a while. Something truly miraculous has happened. Beyond all conceivable probability, someone has found my lost missed linking book and freed me from this prison. I immediately realized that this could be the solution to my dilemma, and I believe my mysterious benefactor is willing to assist me. The logistics of such a scheme are formidable, but the fact that I, it may now be possible for me to continue my repairs to Riven while also proceeding with my original intent to find Catherine has renewed my hopes. The last few days have left me a little time to work out the remaining problems with sending someone else to Riven. It did occur to me, however, that if a way could be found to signal me once Gan had been captured, it would no longer be necessary to take a real linking book to Riven, and thereby risk the possibility of inadvertently freeing him. The deteriorated state of the gateway image would seem to make the use of a visual signal impossible, yet the picture remains a reliable indicator of Riven's condition. Nonetheless, by measuring and interpreting variations in the noise patterns, I am still able to observe basic changes that occur in the age, even though I cannot see them. The problem is that my instruments can only detect changes that occur at a fundamental level, and it seems unlikely that an individual would be able to affect such an elementary change from within an age. The idea may be foolish. I, I would agree. Um, still, there is a known weakness that may be worth investigating, an unstoppable, uh, an unstable anomaly that appears as a rift between the two separate realms, the star fixture. But how this feature might be exploited, I cannot say. Sending someone to Riven also means that once signaled, I will have to leave my writing in order to take a real linking book there myself. Provided my father is safely out of the way, this should take little time, assuming the island does not incur any serious damage during my absence. I should then be able to return to Kavir and hold it together long enough for Catherine to evacuate the remaining islanders. Predetermining a specific signal may simply be impossible, but I'm afraid there can only be one answer to the question of whether or not I should send my friend to Riven with a way out. The potential for success will be greatly increased and the possibility of disaster greatly diminished if the prison book is all that is taken there. My father is no doubt expecting me to bring a linking book to Riven. May he not be disappointed. So yeah, that is basically the plan half-baked as it is. It is a plan. And that is what we are doing. There's another one of these. So this one only has... So I wonder if like all of them need to be in a certain position and then something opens up. Oh, so many, like, totem thingies. We must have carved out the rock to stick those in there. I don't know. Maybe it's softer than I realize. There's a flower there. Are these all buds? The tree does look a little dry though.
It's really nice to see the village in 3D like this. Oh, wow. This is currently being used. Are those fish? They are fish. Okay. It used to be much harder to get here. <laughs> Maybe we should try to read these. Of course, they're not even English. So, like, even if I transliterate them, you know, this is the alphabet, though. Oh, hey! I remember something. So, one of these letters these characters was originally um, repeated. Um, I wonder if they got rid of the repeated. Those are different. Uh, they may have got, I don't think. Well, those look really similar. I mean, they're not the same, but they look very similar. Gosh, yeah, the, I forgot this about Dunny. Like, the language is so, like, letters that just, like, because the lead is different, it's a different character. Like, yeah. But yeah, I'm not seeing the duplicated character, though. They, uh, they, it was a mistake. Um, in the original game, but I think that, um, you know, they just kind of said, well, you know, that very well meet have been, um, you know, logical in the world because, you know, maybe the children just needed some help and remembering that particular letter. <laughs> so they had it posted twice. Um, I feel like I'm I'm supposed to learn to read this, but honestly, no, it's... I don't think I'm going to bother with that. His head appeared last. Terekoi Dani Ki Bayem Rivat Arroyem Be Tig Tavom that was not synchronized. <laughs> uh, I it actually wasn't really synced up. The audio and video was not synced up in the original either. Um, but with this one, it just felt jank. Like, before it actually seemed like that may have been how it is, like, in re reality. Like, there was kind of this sense that maybe you know, the audio and vis video of that projection was just a little desynced, but that just seemed like... Yeah. 
probably would help actually if um I see I don't know that I really want to keep the subtitles on. It's I don't know. Um I pro honestly I probably should keep it on. Oh hey. Oh. Wait a minute. So we have the Dunny number system. We also have, I, what I'm guessing is like the Rivenese numbering system, which we now get to learn, which we never, you know, had before. It's kind of an interesting, I wonder how they make those marks. But, um, I mean, I already know what these, the numbers on the left, I know how to read those already, but, um, That, I didn't know it could go that high. That was, that did not get to get, that did not get used up. This is, um, this is a nine. Oh wait, I do remember it was able to go that high. guy on the left's been a little unlucky. Considering that we have a game called Hangman, I don't suppose this is all that different. Okay, wait. This is, we're seeing it right here. It's a stamp. Maybe on the back end of that, I don't know if I can see that. Yeah, you can see the little, you can see the dot end and the uh, segment, like semicircle end. Uh, not semicircle, uh, it's kind of like a third circle. Um, yeah, so the number eight is a, I guess we always have the dot. Pr 
probably. So this is being represented with two things below. So I mean, if there's if there's three, um, maybe I want to write some of this out on a piece of paper or something. Um, but uh, so so one is being represented with this, right? Um, two. Oh, this isn't two. This is um. This is twenty. Right? No, this is ten. Uh, so this is ten, and it's being represented with all that. So that's interesting. This is five. What? Wait a minute. Maybe this is something else, because that does not make sense. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so but it kind of makes sense though. So like, if it if it's rotating, so like one, and then maybe two, and then three, and then. Um, like four, five, like maybe a matter of what isn't there. Be hard to say for sure. Perhaps this does make sense. Okay, so this is five. Move it up to here and it becomes six. I mean, it is another language. I can't expect it to be instantly intuitive to me. Um, I, I might be able to figure this out. So, up in the right, so, like, if it goes clockwise starting from the up top right and then f like what is four I I imagine four would be like these two and missing this just based on uh, observation of what five and six are like you know, I would expect that. So let me just write that down. So like one, two, be down at the bottom, three is up in the on the left. Four, I'm going to just presume is bottom and right. And then five, which we we have five, that's left and bottom. 6 is top, um, left and right. And then we don't know what 7 is, but si but 8 looks like this. Um, I wonder if, like, uh, I'm going to make a guess that we never have, like, separated um stacks. So like I don't think we're going to have like one here and then one here. You know, with a gap in between. I'm going to guess that they always stack next to each other. So if that's the case then um I would think you know, maybe in 7 it's like a different one. So maybe up here and then here that would make the most sense and then over here. So I'm going to say 7 is two triangles, I'll just call them triangles, on the right. Eight is two triangles on the bottom. Nine is two triangles on the left. All right, and then we have this. So this is 10, apparently. That makes sense, because that matches with how four is structured. So 10 looks like that. And then probably 11 would be um, with like the left and bottom sides. 
this isn't the most efficient, but it's not a terrible system, I guess. Um, and then, you know, 12 should be top left and right, no bottom. Um, and then, uh, you know, it's interesting as we never see surrounding all of all three sides. That never happens. So that kind of makes me think maybe this is a base 13 system because maybe just a single dot would be a zero. Um, that's kind of what I'm going to that's that's what I'm going to tend towards is it's a base 13 system or there could be way more that gets at I mean I wouldn't be so surprised if you can have a third that's probably what it is I gotta stop thinking like a American earthling I mean it, it could very well continue to stack I just yeah But yeah, we, we've written that down, so I think we know how to count to 12, at least, in Rivenese, or whatever that is. That looks a lot like a kiwi. Lily looks like they took a kiwi texture and modified. See, it, it, huh? It still looks really dry. I mean, yes, I'm sure that it has dried out after being cut, but like, hey, wait a minute, did they? Tr they carved a star into that, didn't they? I think they carved a star into it. They might have carved it with their fingernails too. Or with this pencil. Or pen, rather. Oh, wait, hold up. Okay, I don't know why it's such a close up look. But, um, I see a number here. This would be, uh, 17 times 25 <laughs> what is this 17 times 25 plus uh, plus 20 I think I'll just use my phone calculator could also like tab out and use my computer's calculator but what is 17 times 25 I could I know I could be less lazy and actually work it out, but 445. So the Denny writing, s the numbering system is a little more condensed than ours. Although that probably takes just as much effort to write as 445. I don't know why that's important at all. These might be names. I don't know. I don't think we're expected to be able to read that though. And uh, I mean, we weren't in the original game. Like it's just atmosphere. It's just there for the world building really. Um, but I do remember a thing about the Dunny system. So how many characters do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Okay. No, I do not know how it works. I know there's a relationship between the letters and numbers. But, um, yeah, it's a base 25 system, but this is 35 characters, so I don't really know what to make of that. I think, I know, I know they are related to the numbers in some way, though. 
I just can't really tell you. That door looks a little creepy. Yeah, it really helps to have a sliding door. I guess. So that... You can never get trapped um, trying to enter or exit if there's a crowd, I, I guess. I do know why it opens to the side, by the way. It's because uh, this was made to be compatible with VR. If that looks like a heater, it's because it is. You will see. This is very different, like the way all this is put together and functions. I actually think the original game had more music through here. I could be remembering wrong. Here it's more just atmospheric sound, which is kind of a good thing, actually. It's more immersive, actually, without... You know, originally... Um, Robin and Rand did not want Mist to have music, but uh, because they were, they thought it would take away from, like it, it would break immersion to have the music. But um, once they tried putting music in, you know, Robin sent the stuff. They're like, actually, this is pretty good, and so they stuck with it. And it makes sense, but like I think, I think for a game like this though, um, you only want to introduce music, and and even Mist does the same thing. It only introduces introduces music at certain moments um, to make it feel more epic. But it's it's never, you know, it's never forced, or it doesn't it doesn't feel. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's not... I wonder if the paint comes from these moths, but... I don't know. Maybe get a different view. I could maybe see that a little better. I love that I don't know what to do. <laughs> That's actually good, because, you know, p just simply playing Riven again when I've already played it a few times, you know, it'd be cool, right, to see it, you know, remade, but having it be different is nice, actually. I don't know what... I imagine this... I'm not sure how this lens works. Um, 
because it it's not significantly tinting the environment um the light that passes through it um the interesting thing is these moths actually look brighter um yeah, they are a, they're not, like, it's not like it's just filtering out some light and not others. It's actually, like, maybe, like, some UV or something that's being, um, the thing is, though, if it was actually UV, um, if this was just a UV that's being passed through this lens and then brought into like visible light that we're seeing as a, a white color. Um, we would expect to see more of that, like when we look at the sun. Instead, it's just tinting the sun. Like it's not, well, maybe the sun's a bad example. I know, I would just think, at least if it was infrared, we would expect a much more hazy image, but maybe I'm thinking too much into this. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe they reflect a ton of UV and the, uh, the UV is so many moths. It's possible that the UV, um, I don't remember what I was going to say. This is cool though. Yeah. Hmm. So what, does this thing count up to... <laughs> but then there's the other one that was like numbers four through six. So is there going to be six of these or who knows? Well, this looks like it has birds on it. I didn't pay attention to what the others looked like. See, I already know what types of puzzles to expect, but who knows how much they've changed. Um, you know, it's, uh, this is, I'm really glad that this isn't just billboard grass. <laughs> like, maybe, like, two or three planes. But, like, it's actual, I mean, granted, this grass is two-dimensional, but at least it's three-dimensional, two-dimensional grass, if you know what I mean. If I turn on the shadows. Or rather turn up the shadows. Um, does not, again, it's not all that different. Okay, so there's just a lot of, it's interesting because it's almost like shadow dithering or like texture fade blend dithering like it doesn't actually look bad I don't know it's just I don't know let's go back to I like how the menu um, is transparent and it's just like it's cool that the like my menu is just a screenshot of you know, it's not... It doesn't go to a black screen. I like that it doesn't just go to a black screen. So, if it's consistent th with the rest of this game, then that should be a call button. Uh -huh. I don't think, uh... don't think it wants us to... to walk on the rails. Alrighty. So we're just gonna hang on to the back. Release the brakes. Wee.
really know it's exactly like it was before. Like, I'm not really sure what powers the minecart. Rolling really doesn't seem to have a lot of supports, it just is. it's easy enough like they've simplified this and this makes it just this just makes more sense a lot of the changes have been making things more realistic i don't remember precisely how this thing works It's like the pipes in my apartment. <laughs> pipes in my apartment aren't that bad. Unfortunately, the pipes in my apartment are very high-pitched. It's not an apartment, really. It's actually a basement. Okay. For a second, I thought it was like a illusion as I moved it here more. Yeah. What does blue color mean, children? It means it's cool to the touch. That is not true by the way. Just just in case you didn't know, blue flames are also hot. In fact, they may be very hot. The color of the flame is just... the only thing the color of flame means is the type of thing that's being burned. So, we know that it's gas-powered. Did this, um... It's really easy to like. So this is basically just texture in the air. Does it always blow the same way? Hold on. Yeah, it it's it is truly a texture that follows the eyes. Anyway. Pretty sure this is exactly like the original puzzle, though I don't remember exactly how it worked. I'm just messing with stuff. <laughs> I'm not even like stopping to try to understand. There might be subtle difference. There might be things that make a little more or less sense. I think, um... Let's see. So... I mean, I remember what this did. I think, um... Okay. 
can't say I know how that works. But so that's just a dump. So I probably want to leave that connected. Um, I know that we do want to mess with this. The direction of the water is basically what we're whatever we're powering. sucks water from I guess I'm still not exactly sure how that works it's weird because like this doesn't look wet at all it's just like oh yeah I don't see any animation like, so I guess as soon as we connect this it fills up but only if Yeah, it just, it doesn't... Oh, then it ends instantly. You have wait, what? So then it's exiting through where? It's just... Wait. There's something that happened with the shadows. No. Anyway, that's just... It's okay, it doesn't totally have to make sense. I mean, the thing is, like, the 2D version of the game did make less sense. Um, or, or, sorry, it was exactly the same, but it, it kind of... It got away with not making as much sense, just because... Um, you know, it just was 2D, it was lesser technology and you know it's just the way we think about things I did notice before that it didn't really make sense but I feel like it stands out even more in 3D Uh, this makes more sense, though. I think it used to be that the pipe went all the way uphill, and you just followed that pipe uphill. But instead, now you have to walk uphill. I might be remembering that wrong, but... Oh, cool, we can see the dome from here. That also fixed more with, like, Survey Island. I have no idea how much they've changed Survey Island, though. Speaking of Survey Island, there it is over there. Or Map Island, whatever. I wonder what caused these rocks to take on a sort of, you know, kind of crystal-like structure. Bit of a lattice. Now we have a way up here, I suppose. No, I'm. Hey, can I? Can I interrupt this? I didn't really want to go down. Oh well. Let's go check this out. Uh, you know what? I think the uh, the the uh, LOD stuff is kind of bothering me.
So, you know, hopefully, I don't even know. I guess it's not even much better. What the heck? Okay, I think, ugh. I wonder what temperature my, like, graphics card and CPU are right now. Because that, it should not be like that. I don't know. Okay, we're getting some music here. Suggesting that this is important. Oh. See, I remember this was a furnace. So why is it here in this version of the game? It's like being thrown out. If I was really concerned about not making it look like I've been here, I could um, I could leave everything the way I found it, every single latch, every everything. But as you know, that's not really practical, so. A lot of what we need to do is opening things up. Not, not closing them. However, speaking of closing things, sometimes you do need to close doors behind you. Of course I knew that, because I've played this before in some form. I don't think I need to say it every time something's new, but this is also new. It's different because before it was the tram trap, but we've already seen a tram trap, and clearly the environmental puzzles are different than they used to be, so. What is this, anyway? I like the formations of these rocks. It's interesting, for sure. a button. Oh. I like that we have new music. the platform I need to lower the water. I'm guessing I need to lower the water. Actually that seems like that won't be too complicated. But let's come down here.
Should that be obvious? Like... I don't know. It's a puzzle. It's one that I've already solved and unfortunately is ruined to me. I don't know how I got that just like that, but I did. Watch your fingers. And your head. This is technically a loading screen. But it also serves as, like, it, it's actually not that different than how it behaved before. It, it, except that, like, it is different, because this stuff didn't exist before. It was a totally different thing. This is the thing I have to do at every island. Let's connect these up. And then I'll be able to navigate from one to the other. It's cool. I still don't understand what's with the floating light thingy. But, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Right. This was like that before. You know, it's interesting. I think. So we have a few of these lit up, right? this one, and then there's like something there, there's that one, wait is this, which one is this, so this is only the one I came from right now, okay, well, that is fine by me because I don't exactly care to I wonder if this is like magnet powered. Like this ball is a magnet or something. You know what I just realized? This is like from the uh, splash intro of the game. This this ball. And that existed in Riven. Um, like that splash was similar, not the same, but similar in the original game. So it's interesting that now there is actually a physical object in the game that resembles that. Mm. 
Yeah, so that was like the sound of like a cricket or something. So there are ones that have blinking lights. Ones that have solid lights, I think because they're connected to the central thing. So this has a camera on it, yeah? Anyway. Well, actually... Not a camera. More like a telescope. I suppose that... Mm, hard to say exactly what that does, but these are connected. with these like crystal rocks. I think they're like crystals. They may be a power source. Apologies, I'm going to mess with this again. So I don't know if the this LED... I, I don't know if maybe because um, my computer can't quite handle it, that it just actually looks better without it, or like as I spin around, like, okay, well, it's still doing that. So I don't know, man, I don't know. Whatever. Just have a poor... I need more RAM or something. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, right. We do need to go here, though. Um... Yeah, I would suppose that... Actually, let's go here real quick. So if it's like the old game... This doesn't do anything, but it allows us to see something. Which is... Turning on the wood shredder. The wood chipper. The chipper shredder. The shredder of chips. The log chipinator. It's hard to see, but when I okay, when I first release, no, 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 when I first pull on this level, no. Okay, well this bottom should open up. I don't see the bottom opening up, which is kind of confusing.
I doubt that we'll need that. We didn't before. Um, yeah, no. This is definitely Robin's music. Oh. Interesting geode. Or maybe it's not a geode, but whatever it is. This like it's not no it's not the stuff that was in the um, the fisher right it must be a heavy rock if we need this to help us carry it I feel like that thing moves fast. The, this music sounds so much like abduction. Which, like, I guess I'm okay with. It just, it really sounds like abduction. It doesn't sound like the Riven we're familiar with. I don't know. I expected it to just come slamming down when I let go. See, I thought this looked like a house, but now I realize it's more like a crib. It's actually cushioned. Oh. This must be kind of fragile. Is that why we need this thing? I don't know. I think we need to bring that down. Or wait a minute, hold on. Maybe we need to go all the way up. And then maybe it locks in place. Oh. Oh. This is that. So this elevator was in the original game, but the elevator works a bit differently. So I've now locked it into place, I guess, and I guess I can just send it up. What? There we go. Wait a 
a second. You see how many of these shells there are here? This isn't like some stupid contraption where like we like expend one of these every time we have to climb. <laughs> I have no idea, but we're apparently using up a whole bunch of these. Or at least they like split open. When they fall... I don't know what to make of it. Now that I've put this in position, I bet now... Yeah. Okay. Okay, maybe this is not the same. Elevator. Ah. Okay. Ah, so do we refine that into this? Like polish it up? I'm hearing a trapty tram. Do we really want to let it go? Okay, so it's a poison dart frog. And, you know, the darts are made with this. But actually, it's interesting because the, uh, the moiety, or the rivnees, I don't know, the moiety do use poison darts. Um, as well, so I guess it, I guess everyone uses poison darts, or maybe this is a different type of poison dart. I don't know. That well, feels like a pretty realistic. Bye bye. Seems like a pretty realistic um, movement, actually. really like polishing that. <laughs> so you drop water on it. Okay. Alright. Get just the right amount of tension. I'm sure it's polished enough by now. We can probably take it off. So stop stripping. Oh. This is for, you know, creating books. It's a bit of a clamp.
those flowers we saw in the tree. So... not sure what happens first so like I guess this is one I don't know so I guess he just separated these two pieces from each other I guess it opens up if you have the pod it opens up the leaves probably fall off this one had or petals this one's had its petals peeled off. Probably. So, I think these are dated. Actually, I guess we could get a, we could learn how long ago. I'm I'm gonna guess that these years are based off of Earth. So, if the year comes first. Well, no, because then that's only oh that means it would be a long time ago. As if if that's well, so it's fifty, right? So we have like fifty three, or no, that's fifty. That's, that's 65. So this is this is like the year 65, like 1865. Up here would be like I can't quite tell, but I think that's like 1853 or uh, no 63. And then this is also in 1863. 1863 and 1864 that all seems reasonable could also see like different times of the year then too because is this like collected at the beginning um, it's collected closer to the end of the year these are collected like fall or I mean you know whatever f we would call that portion of the year this is um, can't quite read that but I guess this goes with this so this is like you know this and then this and then and then this and then this and then that seems reasonable. Oops, didn't mean to do that. There's no drawer there. Oh, is he been studying? These devices as well. Uh, see, these replace, these do, these replace the eye thingies, the eye ball things. Oh, can I not, like, look at it from above? Alright. My mouth is so dry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get a drink. Alright. A little better. Oh, wait, what the? Okay, hold on. What's the deal here? This is not supposed to happen. If I mess with my resolution or something, I don't know.
fill the view. I don't know that that's going to help, but I kind of doubt it. Oh, it actually did. It did help. <sighs> yeah, that's going to have to be fixed. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is there. Anyway, last week one of my acolytes caught a rebel uh, sniffing around the cemetery totem in the jungle. Ah. Okay. I'm keeping with the general ineptitude of my men. The dog was allowed to escape, but at least the fool had the presence of mind to bring me the object in question. It is primitive, a primitive eyepiece into which one of the native numbers has been set. Ah. Yeah, see, it kind of makes more sense. Well, I mean, it doesn't... It's not weird that in the original game they were using Dunny numbers, but using native numbers, like, it makes more sense. Um, it's just slightly more... It doesn't matter either way, I know. Um, but yeah, we didn't even get the Rivenese language before. Um, given that f the fact that they're a cursed uh, numeric system <laughs> requires you to know which way a symbol has been rotated in order to read it, however, there is no way to make sense of it. It is probably an overestimation of the moiety's intelligence to suspect that they may be there may be some greater meaning behind it. But tomorrow I shall send a surveyor out to inspect the other totems just to be safe. Yeah. Now I don't particularly like this FOV, so I will go back to 90 soon. Uh, where I just got used to... Nah, it, it feels... This feels... This FOV feels weird, so... I mean... I just don't know what this lever does. Wait. Oh, so it changed the speed. Seems like that it like slowed down after some time. It's like I ignored it. I don't even. The counterintuitive aspect of fire marble. Oh, these are fire marbles. Ah, I should have. Well. That a greater strike force does not always yield the maximum energy output never ceases to amaze me. Optimal strike force, best piece value, still not sure apparently. Um, fire marble, power marble, strike force compensations. Hmm, I should probably just write that down. Or, was it X to take a screenshot? i just look at that later. Yeah, um... Okay. Compensation. This is 
got a handle on it. I guess it's just for toting. It just... This looks like it should spin, you know? Maybe it does. I don't know. Um, since the fire marble came from this place, does that mean that that's how much extra force I need? I don't know. It's a little weird the mouse, the uh, cursor doesn't move along with this, but let's see. So that was saying, um, I mean, I might not actually have to go messing with this. This is probably just to teach me something. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Though. Nah. I don't know. This one looks. This one makes me think of like a passion fruit. Oh, I didn't, okay, I wouldn't want to try to just put it away. I wanted to. I was. Well, we already know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna I'm gonna change it back to 90, and then I won't be able to read it. All right, I've been cataloging the man the natural elements of this age for many years now, yet I still continue to find evidence of the number five. As a boy, I was very clear to it was very clear to me that it held a place of special significance in the Dunny society. From the ancient heraldic emblems of the ruling elite to the humble homes of the commoners, it was ubiquitous. Its presence here is clearly a direct reflection of the minds that authored the text I used to compose this age. Further proof that through their art, the Dunny masters were indeed creating the marvelous worlds they wrote, and not, as many have mistakenly thought, merely forging links to pre-existing worlds. Why all of, while all of my ages have been based on Dunny designs, I see now that the ones most vested with the power of five are the most beautiful, the most perfect, and undoubtedly the most structurally sound. Now, there is a... the golden ratio is related to the number five. So, I mean, if you want to look at it that way, you know, like pentagrams and such. Anyway, uh, I still have yet to determine how the Dunny color symbology reflects this superior design principle. While ostensibly a six color system, I am convinced that there must be some deeper connection to the number five. I will continue to investigate. 
the tram traps have been particularly fruitful this year. Apparently, the breakup of the islands has not adversely affected the subterranean ecosystems. Unfortunately, I imagine the rebels are also experiencing a generous harvest. No shortage of poison for their darts this season. Such vexing issues aside, this unexpected mind Oh, sorry, windfall has allowed me to refine a particularly pleasant extract for my pipe, one that is smoother than any other in recent memory. When he says pipe, is he actually talking about like smoking the stuff, or or like a blowpipe? This probably means blowpipe. Um, just interesting. He calls it a pleasant. Uh, I have reluctantly dis decided to suspend my inquiries into the unusual behavior of the water of this age, as there are more pressing matters that now demand my attention. For future reference, however, my investigations have revealed the following. I believe the remarkable properties of the water to be caused by a microbe that resides within it. I am imagining a mobile unicellular organism, but with one with, oh wait, a motile? That's a T, motive, motile? I don't know what motile means. <laughs> uh, but one with a structure that allows it to manipulate bits of water. The aggregate effect of which is that the composite body of water is able to deform itself in response to threatening conditions. Prolonged exposure to extreme heat, a period of extended boiling, for example, seems to kill them off, which would explain their dramatic aversion to even moderate rises in temperature. There is still such to learn, however, regarding this particular phenomenon and its possible uses. Construction of the imagers has proceeded without fault. Remarkable how easy it was to adapt the Dunny technology to mimic that of the Ahmad. The two cultures must surely have crossed paths at some point in their histories. It may even be that Kida was a direct descendant of the Dunny. How else to explain the redemptive depth of our connection? But that's all pointless now. Maintenance on the steam vent. Caps completed. I am extremely pleased with the continued success of the system. Another example of the superiority of Dunny technology. Ironic that Atris and Catherine's meddling uh, What? Something, Lee? I, I just don't... Con... Accordingly... I don't know. Con... No, I don't know. provided me with such a convenient source of power. <laughs> Wait. Conf Unwittingly. Unwittingly. Okay. Right. I am certain now that the fissure was unexpected by an unexpected byproduct of the changes that wrote they wrote into this age as part of their machina machinations to keep to trap me here and that atris never intended for the book to be lost among the stars in the process better that a linking book be destroyed than to risk it falling into unknown hands had they foreseen the creation of the fissure, they surely would have brought another solution, as the ensuing cataclysm may have, may well have consumed the entire world. 
had I not managed to intervene. Catherine would never have knowingly taken such a risk, and surely my son, given his own um, dearth of vertebrae, had only meant for a riven to become my prison and not my tomb. I am discontinuing regular observations of the expanse beneath the fissure. I've tracked the stars and have proven that their paths are cyclical, but without proper instrumentation there is nothing more I can learn. My theory, however, remains unaltered. The fabric of this age was breached in a way that permits matter to be hospitably exchanged between two discrete yet overlapping spaces. Yet the attendant paradoxes defy laws of conventional physics. The great column of wind that formed when the rift first appeared suggests a vacuum, as one might expect in space, yet my early experiments seem to confirm the presence of a breathable atmosphere. That Atris momentarily threw himself into the void is future evidence that it might possibly be safe to venture into, but without knowing its true nature, I simply cannot take the risk. It is also difficult to say what would happen to, were I to happen, reopen the fissure now, but it is highly probable that the results would be disastrous. My hopes have been dashed again. The latest Ink Foundation has proven to be yet another in a long list of failures, frustrating to expend so much effort constructing a linking book, only to end up destroying it when it refuses to function. Too often, this lab gown, uncomfortably warm by the flames of these never-ending disappointments. Oh, wait. Lab grown hat has this lab grown. Wow, I cannot read. <laughs> uh, um, without my ref reference library back in Dunny properly, orthodox linking book may simply be beyond my means, but I simply cannot burn another book. There must be another way. Pens of Fate. Late last night, while pondering these interim Terminable setbacks. I went to light my pipe. Okay. Gotcha. So he really is smoking a tram. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> the fire marble got away from me, however, and rolled across the gateway junk, the gateway image of the book before me. If the consequence of this had not been repeatable, I would not have believed my eyes, as the marble uh, left a faint yet deliberate trail of increased clarity in its wake. The change did not last long, but it was unmistakable. If I could find a way to boost the energy output of my fire marbles, it might be possible to suppress the variance enough to facilitate a stable link, but how? Uh, a spatial anomaly occurred yesterday, about five spans above the mouth, the north shore of Temple Island. A breach of stars seemingly identical to the one beneath the fissure. It began as a small cloud-like hole, which then commenced to expand in random surges. With some effort, I was finally able to contain it with uh, runic plates similar to the ones I'd arrive for the fissure. I believe it will hold, but the appearance of a new rift is troubling, and yet it has also l left me with the most uncanny feeling that something fundamental has shifted in my favor. I believe it may be time to give this inexplicable mystery a second look. I have erected a small dome, a pressurized uh, airlock mounted upon the container breach. This has allowed me to safely conduct tentative forays into the expanse without ex subjecting Riven to further invasion and the destruction that would certainly attend it. It is bafflingly 
improbable, a bafflingly improbable space, yet surprisingly more accommodating than my initial observations had led me to leave. Breathing is indeed possible within it, yet I cannot say that it is respiration I am used to as I am used to it. Rather, as nonsensical as this is going to sound, it feels at times as if the expanse was breathing me, and in the process imbuing me with a sense of endless possibility. At last, the breakthrough I was hoping for. After my first full day of experiments in the expanse, I was astonished to discover that the fire marbles in my coat pocket had come to fluorescence. A quick strike test confirmed that their energy levels had increased significantly, and their charge has lasted longer than I would have thought possible. In a clear act of divine providence, the expanse has given me the final piece of the puzzle, an apparently boundless energy source that should be more than sufficient to rectify my linking books. But I must work quickly. To become uh, two more breaches have occurred in the interim, each one more aggressive than and difficult to contain than the last. Time, I fear, is running out. The breach is now number five, a sure sign that I am on the right path. I have connected the domes on each of them via nexuses of pathways within the expanse, which will also serve as an inter-island shortcut as I continue my work on my enhanced fire marble complex. The loss of two more men yesterday has made it clear that the full spectrum of energy is too great for even my finest fire marbles to contain. So I've decided to break it up into discrete frequency ranges, which will later be recombined for application to the book. I have installed five changing stations within the expanse, each one calibrated to imbue a blank fire marble with a separate grand sorry, what? Gand of the total energy needed. A pneumatic tube system will convey the charged marble to the great gold dome on Riven for recombination. F freedom is nearly within my grasp. The problem of how to return to Riven has been settled. Uh, Reckon has proven his usefulness over the years, at times nearly rivaling my own engineering prowess. He and his team will have the honor of being the first to link to the new age bringing with them the necessary materials to build a vastly simplified version of the book apparatus, which I have personally designed. If they do not return within a reasonable amount of time, I will revise my design and send additional men until they get it right. Should they founder, however, I am prepared to sacrifice every last man on Riven to continue the effort. This cannot fail. At long last, a viable loop has been established. After an eternity of toil and sacrifice, and an unconscious, yeah, unconscionable preemption of the ages, I might have f fathered. Um, fathered. <laughs> I have finally linked to a new age. To 33, I think. Just from memory, I'm not gonna... I'm getting tired. It is a bleak and garen... barren... hold on. So that's a B. I should probably... Where was the other word that I wasn't reading properly? Separate band. With a separate band of the total energy needed. That it makes, yeah. All right. Perfectly suited for my purposes. By closely uh, comparing the real with the written, I believe I will soon be able to create a more appropriate age from which to relaunch my mission. 
For now, however, I will move my office and living quarters there so that I may safely continue my endeavors without distraction. Although it is but a stepping stone, 233 is utter triumph, an utter triumph. To think that I have accomplished in a matter of years under extremely adverse conditions what it took my Dunny ancestors centuries to achieve. I mean, the technology is already there. You just need to figure out how to put it together. I caught one of my assistants thumbing through this journal today. He will certainly never do it again, but I'm glad I chose to write this in a language these people could not decipher. Perhaps it's time I reviewed my security measures with each guild master. No problems expected from the builders, maintainers, and surveyors, but the bookmarkers and educators may need a bit more motivation. This convenient for the player, obviously. More reports of spirit sightings. It seems that under Catherine's leadership, the rebels for Black Moiety, as the villagers stubbornly insist on referring to them, have attained a new level of sophistication in their terror tactics. Renewing their campaign to intimidate the weak minded into joining them by preying upon their cultural superstitions. I suppose I should be concerned by this, but it strikes me as almost laughable. If the rebels wish to dilute their ranks with dimwits, then who am I to stop them? Chemical analysis of the rebel knives has yielded curious results. The metal contains elements that are unlike anything I've encountered on the islands. It appears the rebels have access to resource, a resource that I'm unaware of, perhaps a mine or an uncharted island. Most of these knives have been found on the south side of the village, the same region that reports of people mysteriously disappearing. I have, a, I have mysteriously disappearing have emanated from. I think a closer inspection of the area is warranted. The fact that the rebels deliberately leave these distinctive knives as a sign of their presence is concerning. They're growing bolder as if they no longer fear discovery of their hideout. Recent measurements indicate that the movement of the islands has slowed dramatically. My previous estimates predicted a total collapse in approximately three months with the new figures. I am no longer certain. But with the new figures, I'm no longer certain. I've nearly finished writing the two, oh no, uh, 200. Uh, 34th age and have every confidence it will be a safe place to relocate to. I, if I remember correctly, 233 is a Fibonacci number. But it would still be useful to know what has caused the sudden halt in Riven's breakup. Is it possible that the age is stable after all? If so, I must discover how it differs from 233, which has already shown troubling signs of decay through further tests, though th th further tests are needed. And yet, there is something about this that gives me pause. Could it be that someone is attempting to repair the damage to the fifth age as its source? I cannot help but think that the hand of Atris is behind this somehow. So that is obviously most of the same content as in the original game, but um, some of the, you know, it gives this whole new description of the uh, the expanse and all, and you know, all the fire marble stuff's a bit different. Um, it's more logical, I, I think, what we're going for, or I mean, not more logical. It just is adding more purpose to things. Whereas what was once just a puzzle is now like 
something... There's, there's more explanation behind why um, and how, basically. I suppose there's no day-night cycle on this age. Oh no. See, I, uh... I didn't come this way. Oh, it just opens. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay, that's not a terrible solution. So, right, if I had not, if, like, if someone doesn't figure out that you close the door behind you, which I've always thought is, like, it's hard to find that and realize that. Um, at least in the original game it was. I don't know. I think it still is. Um, but yeah, if you come from there and then you come back, I guess that just opens up because... Yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's been simplified a bit. So, what's interesting is, uh, in the original game, that furnace was up in here. It was located, um, it was located in the center of this room. And, um, there was like a burnt book inside of it. And now that's just been thrown out in favor of this f fire marble polisher. So, that's interesting, I guess. I don't suppose that um, I actually need this, but... Oh. There we go. Okay, okay. And then I guess he's just, like, throwing them all down there. Discarding on there, whatever. Oh, okay, is that where they go? Oh, I see. The fire marbles kind of float. It's interesting that fire marbles can be harvested from here in Riven. I may have written that into the age or whatever. Okay, so this makes a little more sense now. So I suppose we need this to help hold it in. Okay, I'm not really sure. Hopefully I'm not going to break this. Um, let's see, we already got a few of these, but I don't have a way to like inspect charges. I mean... Well, I'm sure I can't mess things up. Um, you know, probably only minor setbacks. So let's let's just okay. Okay. I don't know what that did. It's different from what I expected. Okay, hold on. So, that was too much, right? Okay, I guess that's exactly right. Does that just release it all? Wait, did I want that? So, okay, um, this particular fire marble is a type 9 or whatever. Like, it's... Okay, 9 is not on this chart. 
Hmm. Well, hold on. See, I'm still thinking like as if... See, there's negatives and positives. Um, I'm still thinking of the old game, but like... Let's see. There's 26 notches. I really don't know. I mean, what's what's considered the center of this? I don't even know. I mean, if we just go by what looks to be the center of it, that's like between these two, obviously. I mean, minus four, do we have a minus four? Not even. Meh. to see here. I'm going to switch my uh, FOV back. Oh. What? When did I change it back? Interesting. This is here. I can also go this way. Um, I mean, let me go this way first. I think. This is where I like wonder if like we turn on the lights and we'll be able to see more, but I don't think it's that kind of tunnel. I do think I recall that it used to be like that. Okay, oh, okay. This is the bridge that collapsed. So normally this would be a way to get there. It seems like, um, it's interesting how the, these are on, like, flow to, on boys, but, um, you know, we, we see much more that the age is in a state of disrepair. You know what? I know I remember someone talking about the fact that you know, in the original game, you just go click 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 and you'd be across the bridge, right? But in this version, especially in VR, like it's a long trip across. Like that is actually a good distance that you have to travel. Um so I wonder if they actually, like, they're trying to find a way to solve um, the fact that it's kind of a boring walk and kind of messes with, like, the pacing of the game or whatever. And so they just said, let's get rid of it.
but like we need to keep it there for continuity of the please of the fans etc but we just say destroy it and that's what they chose to do because I, I know they said that they were having problems like I remember an earlier demo where they would like fake the speed like if you were on the bridge it would just you would just like move really fast across the bridge right I don't know just a thought and I, I think that this did stem from that I, I don't know much about them. I never have. 